Hi, my name is Sandra and I welcome you to my Sandra Yoga channel. What I would like to show you today is Anulom Vilom Pranayama, also called Nadi Shodan or Nadi Purification. What is Nadi? Nadi, Nadis are our energetic channels, energy channels in our bodies. So when we are doing Pranayama, we are actually cleansing them and we let the energy flow freely. So that's why we do Pranayama to clean them and to feel better. What I would like you to do first is like a moon and sun cleansing preparation breathing exercise. Why moon and sun? Why is it called like that? We call our left nostril moon Chandra and the right nostril sun Surya. And that's because nostrils are energetically associated with our body heating system. And when we breathe through left nostril, we are cooling down the system, our body, and when we are breathing in through the right nostril as a as sun, as Surya, we are heating up the system, okay? So that's just so you know. So what we do, we are going to sit in a cross-legged position. Either can be Shukasan, which is an easy pose, or we can do Ardha Padmasana or full Padmasana, the lotus pose, as you feel like, as it's the best for you, the most comfortable. If you can't do any of that, you can sit on the chair. We are going to start with breathing in and on exhalation we roll our shoulders back and down. We tuck our chin, suck our belly, relax our hands on our knees and start with uh, concentrate, concentrating on your breath, okay? Bring awareness to your natural breathing. Do the inhalation, exhalation, just that. Connect your body with your mind, with your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Bring a gentle smile on your face. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, now that we are connected with our breath, we are going to do this preparation pranayama. We put our left or right hand, as you feel like, on our knees in chin mudra, and the other hand, on the other hand, we bend the index finger and middle finger. Okay, these two are here, they stay here. If you feel like they are not listening to you, which is happening quite a lot, you can bend all three fingers and Another possibility is that you put your middle finger in the area of your third eye and you are using your ring and your thumb. Okay, so any any possibility, any as you feel. I will do this one and what we do is that we close with our thumb, our right nostril and we are going to breathe just with our left nostril. We are going to inhale and exhale. Just on one side, just on our left side. In, uh, again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. Now we change, now we are going to hold our left nostril with the ring toe, ring finger, and we are going to breathe with our right side only. So inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale. Okay. By the, this exercise, we are removing the minor blockages and the flow in both nostrils become balanced. Okay. Uh, when we breathe through our left nostril, we are activating right hemisphere and when we are breathing through our right nostril, we are activating our left hemisphere. Now what we are going to do is anulom vilom. Uh, again, 
use the same hand or the other one as you feel like. Sometimes I like to use one and the second time another one, so my body is more balanced. Uh, let's do the same, same mudra with your hand. And what we are going to do, what is different from our exercise before, is that we are inhaling on one side and exhaling on the other side. Then inhaling on the side that we finished and exhaling on the first side that we started. So we just go from side to side, from side to side. Uh, as we are, as you are a beginner, if you are a beginner, I recommend you to do the basic anulam vilam, which is on counting on one, two, three, four, you inhale and one, two, three, four, exhale. Then again, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Later, in a few days or in a few weeks, you can retain your breath in the middle. It, me it means one, two, three, four, inhale, then retain your breath with both nostrils closed. You on count on one, two, or one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, eight, you can exhale. This depends on each of you step by step you can improve you can advance this pranayama but as we are starting now i will do the normal anulom vilom which is counting one two three four and one two three four okay so we do our mudra we close our right nostril with the thumb and exhale with left side one four and exhale to the right side Now inhale to the right side and exhale to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Now don't forget that the breath is coming from down from your belly to your chest. It's expanding through all the sides, up and sides, okay? So just, it's de very deep and slow motion, slow inhalation, exhalation. We continue like that as many times as you feel like. In As beginner, you could do like five minutes and after you improved, you've done it a few times, you try a few times, you can do 10 minutes, then you can move to 20 minutes, okay? And don't forget that consistency is the key. So the more you do it, the more often do it with kind of regularity like every day every morning every evening or when you're stressed that's how much your your health is going to improve this pranayama is also good to reduce stress to calm to relax not just your body but your mind also good for improving your concentration mm, so it's any time during the day is good to do that and it's very important pranayama together with Kapalbhati, which I'm going to be doing in the next video. So I hope you liked it and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Namaste.